and welcome to stream welcome welcome i do hope you've been having a wonderful day so far and a wonderful week because i have lost track of how long it has been it has been quite a while <laughs> i have mm. issues yes i have issues which should come as no surprise to anyone but <laughs> here we are here we are but welcome why welcome Kian, welcome Pringle, and welcome Edward. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mm. 
because uh, I I still have internet issues, so I'm just, <laughs> which is what like the main reason why I haven't streamed as much. Uh, there's been a whole lot of other things going on as well. Hi Edward. Hi hi hi. Because uh, it's it's not that fun. Like I love streaming, but it's not that fun to stream when I kind of can't trust my internet and it's something that I can't do anything to improve because <laughs> like I have some kitty don't bite my computer yes computer is one of the things that you aren't allowed to bite chase your little squeepy dip yes <laughs> So yeah, I remember the cutouts from before. They weren't fun. Is it okay now? It's... It might be okay today. It's a big might, but it might be okay today. Um. Don't... That's my... Don't bite. No bitey bitey. Please. Thank you. Scooch. Hey, you scooch. Don't cur me. You scooch. If you don't scoot, I'm gonna lift you and you're gonna put in front of people. Yes. Don't bite the mic. You may sniff it and you might purr. <laughs> but you're not supposed to bite stuff. Okay? Yeah. Oh, she smells nice. <laughs> um, yeah, there is a stream gaming. It is a stream today. <laughs> Your cat's a big mite? That's terrifying. Yeah, she's a big mite. She bites my wood wooden furniture. And my plastic little uh, water bottle. And she would buy, bite my Nintendo Switch if I kept it out, which I don't, <laughs> because she bites it. Um, and she bites my computer and she bites the cables. She has bitten, like, my charging cable for my phone. To the point that I had to buy a new one. While it was charging. So I, I wasn't very happy with her that morning when I found that out. Um, so yeah. <laughs> it's been so long, but hello, Gina. Welcome back to streaming. Thank you, gaming. Thank you, thank you. It's been quite a while. And it it's mainly been because of me not being able to trust the internet that the internet will hold. Because it's not fun to you guys when the stream just cuts out for no reason. And it's also no fun for me because I need to be very mindful of it. And I need to keep an eye on if the internet works or not. Which is just very annoying and very frustrating. So that hasn't been fun. Please. I have a support kitty today. <laughs> Uh, so that's mainly been the reason why, but I also have had a lot of stuff going on. Um, like a lot of stuff. I have busy private life, busy work life at the same time. It's not a good combination. <laughs> and to top it all off, like, if you're in the Discord server, you already know this, but... This Sunday... <laughs> When things were starting to work through, uh, a lot of stuff happened. One of the things that happened on Sunday was that Lady decided that she was going to get a tummy ache. And tummy ache for a horse is basically just, your horse is probably going to be fine in an hour or it's going to die. It could be either or, or anything in between. <laughs> um... So I had to take care of her and walk with her and care for her on Sunday. And thankfully, it was, it was just gas. But because of that, my little heart was so extremely worried for her <laughs> uh, on Monday. Because if I, if I hadn't had that happening, I would have streamed on Monday. Um, but it, it's, it's, it's been a lot. <laughs> and I also meant to stream this weekend. But then it was private life just being a lot. <laughs> um, and my brother came over and helped me with a lot of stuff. So it, it was also like 
I needed to fit my scheduling with his scheduling and if I hadn't his scheduling is very late um which meant that we weren't finished until like I was finished at like 9 p.m. <laughs> and I was very tired then. Um so yeah. Sounds rough. I do have to point out that you have a really big heart though, Dean. I think thank you. <laughs> um sometimes I feel like I don't have a big heart. The this is one of the moments where I kind of feel like I don't I I only kind of feel like I don't. Um Ow, no don't bite me because it hurts. You have a very cute belly though, and I want to pet the belly because it's cute. But there are sharp pointy things. <laughs> um well, let's clarify things, Lemo. Yes. Yes, I al always clarify things. Always. Um, but yeah. belly rubs. I want to pet the belly. I want to do the belly rubs, but I am not allowed to do the belly rubs. I am sometimes allowed to do the belly rubs, and by sometimes I mean like five percent of the time. <laughs> She's not that fond of belly rubs, sadly. <laughs> Hello, you're now welcome to stream. I do hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. Yay! Yes, yes. Mm. I have heard in the grapevine that I am apparently allowed to do stuff. No, that I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, if a an ad turned up, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, I I don't know where to do stuff. So yes, I will not say a thing in that case. <laughs> but. Apparently you're you're allowed or you're able to gift out subscriptions yourself or memberships. It's called memberships here. Thank you. I know the language. Yes. Uh, I'm able to gift out memberships. I didn't figure it out. <laughs> if I had figured it out, I would have done that. But yeah. Yes, yes. Seeing recent trending, will I play Palward? I... Mm, <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Like, I know it's trending and I know the smart decision for me. The really smart decision for me would be to stream Pal World. I'm not sure I want to. <laughs> uh, maybe have a private stream just for yourself or Ophi to play around with that kind of thing. I I highly doubt Ophi is gonna play it because it's not it's not her kind of game. It's very far from her kind of game. Um I don't know the price tag of it, but basically if I gave it, give it to her and say that we do a multiplayer server, she might. But <laughs> Uh, you meant the membership stuff? Meant the membership stuff. Wait. Oh, maybe I have. A oh, you mean that? Wait. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe so. I know that Ophi managed to do the do that, but she managed to do that while it wasn't a stream, so it might not be in the stream settings. It might be somewhere else. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go look for it. I'm gonna go look for it. It did cut off his membership thanks to the donor, which is fun. Yeah, I, uh, funnily enough, I was one of the ones who got it. <laughs> um, see, <so yeah. laughs> um, like the only memberships that I have gotten are stuff that has gotten donated to me. I've gotten Jono like thrice, I think, <laughs> or something like that. So Pearl World, it would be good for the content, but at the end of the day, you need to enjoy the game streams, Jean. Yes, yes, yes. And that's kind of... As you just pay yourself when you give out membership. It's not like I pay myself. I could probably pay myself as well. 
But this is like freebie stuff. YouTube gives me 10 that I am free to gift out randomly. Yes, I just waved my hands. I like speaking with my hands, kitty. You don't need to be surprised that I wave my hands. <laughs> um, so yeah, and yeah, this basically, like, I, 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 there are certain things that I know is really good for me and the channel. Palworld is one of the things that are really, really good for my channel. But, and it's, on paper it would be a game that I at least semi would be interesting in, interested in. But it just feels, like I have watched a couple of streamers play it and it feels really, really off to me how similar some things are to Pokemon. Like there, there was a there was a breed, mixed be breed between Gudra and Lilligant. It was a goo, grass type Gudra with a Lilligant flower on top. It, it, and that was it. <laughs> and like there, there, there are similarities, and then there are there's stuff that goes over the board. I I kind of feel like Palworld is one of the thing that. Mm, <laughs> I I f I don't feel comfortable with it. I don't know how to say something about Pal World. It just isn't my type of game. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> so less inspired by more blatantly copied her. Huh? There is a big controversy around that, but mm. some of the designs are b very blatantly copied. And there are rumors that they are AI generated as well. So the, there's a whole lot of iffy rumors going on. So I feel like it's like sure it's a very popular game. It does give views. Mm. I'm not sure it's something that I want to put my toes into. <laughs> um and it's also like the whole guns and things and i i dislike guns in games typically like i can be fine with some um yeah. they're developing a copy of hollow knight as well yeah. ha <laughs> so what i'm gathering is that it's just a highly problematic game designer thingamabob. <laughs> Pal World is basically Pokemon but for adults and um, generally weird copied stuff. It's a whole lot of weird copied stuff. Like the AI, like the UI and a whole lot of the gameplay that I have seen just straight up is Ark Survival Evolved. And then you have the monsters that some of them are, you know, unique. Uh, most of them are not. <laughs> Ark mon, yeah, it's it feels like Ark, but with a Pokemon mod that they changed just enough so that Nintendo wouldn't be upset. Don't bite my stuff. This is my stuff. You do not bite my stuff. I might want to throw this carton away, but you are not to bite my stuff. Understand? Please. Do I not have... I have a string. I have a string. I can play with kitty. <laughs> I don't know, but I believe it's gonna have the same fate as Starfield. Maybe so. Maybe so. <laughs> Cats were once revered as gods. They have not forgotten this. Yep, they they have not. They have not. This little cat has just trained my mother, mom and dad to just give her cheese. <laughs> like she just turns up at the table 
and she gets presented with presents. <laughs> Is <laughs> she? She has trained my parents very well. Um, that's all I will say on the matter. Uh, but 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 but. I just noticed that I need actually need to press the correct thing because I have moved stuff. Yeah, you don't. This is my string that I hold. You play with the, the end of the string. Yes. <laughs> Cat learned from me. I love Jenner. Yee. She loves all teas. <laughs> also, what's the joke? You dogs see humans, give them food, water, and light the sky, and think of people as gods. Can cats see the same and think of themselves as gods. Yes. Yes. There's also like. You know, the the cats and the dogs di diary, which is just the dog just going, 7 a.m. People wake up the best that there is and then a whole lot of best that there is doing it throughout the day. Like, kids come home from school, the best that has ever happened to me. Um, and then comes the cat's diary, which is just. Day number 1,500 in prison. My jailers! <laughs> uh, so there's a lot of jokes like that. It's, I, I don't know the whole diary stuff because it's... The version that I like the most is in Swedish. Um, and the reader does a really really good job with it but i i don't even know if it's translated into english even so this got a two-year-old dog and i'm terrified to even feed her anything other than dog food yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i know the feeling i i was the same with kitty when she first got home i was like okay only wet food no dry food no kibble no anything other than kitty food <laughs> Uh, and then it it kind of as evolved devolved from that, but I'm still really really like she's not allowed to eat a whole lot of things. <laughs> oh, hello, Nassim. Welcome to welcome to stream. I do hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. Am I Swedish? Yes, yes. And I even have, uh, I have a Swedish accent when I want to. Uh, a Swedish accent as in, I have an accent in Swedish. I kind of have one in English as well. My students, by the way, is having so much fun over me being able to speak English so well. Which I'm very confused about because apparently they thought that that I was speaking, speak, speaking like they are sp speaking English, because they they basically speak like that. <laughs> um, and apparently, me just being able to get to just ran like one of the one of the kids. The, this was quite a while ago, but one of the kids. Basically just started speaking English in my physics class and I of course Answered him and started teaching physics in English <laughs> Because of reasons um, Also because I kind of wanted to point out that no because he's he tried to speak English to me because he thought that I wasn't able to speak with English um, So I just answered him in English and just spoke fluently, was able to speak about my subject in English as well. Um, just to sort of point out to him that, no, I do understand what you say when you speak English. It's it's not a secret language, dude. <laughs> I'm a girlith. I'm a cute girlith. Yes. Um... I shouldn't I shouldn't read chat and run around. <laughs> oh dear dude fragment, I haven't. Um, 
of interest, what are the stereotypes of Swedish accent? I know some for England, America, other places, but not Sweden. Up north, they speak by breathing. Like, they can say yes or no, but just the way that they breathe. Uh, and down south, you can't hear what they say because Skåne is basically Denmark and Dan Danes speak like they have a potato in their mouth. And Norwegians is basically Swedish, but they sing when they speak. Um. <laughs> they were, yes, yes, yes. Oh, some more pickle! Hello, little dip! I was trying to say hello to the tiny little Pikachu clone. The hangy Pikachu clone. You're not gonna win against the seaweed dragon. Just... Hmm. <laughs> they what? The Danes or, or the Norwegians or the people up north that just... <sighs> Or, <gasps> yeah, <sighs> means yes, <gasps> means no, just so you guys know. <laughs> I'm more bigger, I think you mean Growlithe. Yes, yes. Swedish sounds like Swedish, but you sing it to me. <laughs> really? I don't know what you're talking about there, for I don't think that Swedish is so much that you sing. Yes, we have a little tone up and down and stuff, but... That was the Swedish for today, people. Yes. Also, up north Darth Vader is a walking contradiction, apparently. Yes. Yes. I am in Oni Mountain. And we... Jump a bit, a bit too much of the jumpy jumpy bit, but it was fine. I definitely know how to control this dragon. It's not like it's been a while. <laughs> a clipping time for the Swedish bit. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. You can, you can clip that if you want. <laughs> I don't even remember what I said, honestly. Me. No, I don't, I don't. I also, by the way, have completely forgotten where I'm supposed to go. I'm probably supposed to go down the mountain, but I'm just gonna pick up a whole lot of treasure while I do so. See? Yeah. I mean, they do say that you never forgot how to ride a ride on. <laughs> yeah, it's just. It's just. A temporary brain fog or something like that. A Medicorp. And a Deodu that I do not wish to speak to, so we just jump over it. That's a tiny sal sal lizard. Lizard. The mountains? I d highly doubt that you're gonna have Pokemon that's gonna be of any difficulty to me, so I'm just gonna ignore it. Is it another more Pico? There are more Picos everywhere! Aren't they fairies, by the way? Or are they electric dark or something like that? I have completely forgotten. Ah, the Pichu! <laughs> Salandity. Yes, Salandit, But it's also a lizard. And I was looking for salamander. <laughs> that's, that's the Sala stuff that I couldn't pronounce. Uh, so yeah. Yes. Make one entire stream Swedish. I, I, I'm not really sure you guys would like that. <laughs> Cause I'm like I do have an accent when I'm speaking in Swedish. Like, think of it as the Swedish version of Scottish. Cause that's basically what it is. Oh, really? Oh, so cute. By the way, where am I supposed to go? I'm supposed to go there. Okay, noted. It looks lightly green. <laughs> you would absolutely love it. Uh, oh, it's electric dark. I see, I see. Pity little, pity little are cute. 
this well annoys me because it's it's at least keep the mountain and the random rocks the same texture Wolpix. I accidentally bumped into the Wolpix. <laughs> the DLC was quite fun for me because my entire team was over leveled and it was max and I face and he <laughs> I, I see. I see. Uh, yeah, I'm... Wait! Oh, okay, fine. Uh, I'm probably gonna do this in my Scarlet playthrough. But in my Scarlet playthrough, I'm... I haven't finished the main game in my Scarlet playthrough yet. So I'm gonna start the DLC before. Because then I can sort of do, like, only Pokemon from this region, half region thingamabob stuff. That's a bit of a challenge. Not really a bit of a challenge, but yeah. Still, it gets to be something new. Because what I feel with my team that I'm slightly sad about is that I, I have a good team. I, like, sure, I have Quetzalcoatl. That's a new one. But I, I have my team, and they are really, really awesome and really, really good. So I have no need to switch it out for any of the new Pokemon. Which, um... Which is fine, but it would be fun if you, did, you know, you build up a new team. You caught a new three Pokemon for each DLC and gave them candies accordingly. I see, I see. A dragon tamer? Yes, I am a dragon tamer. <laughs> um, a DLC post came off to a beat in the main game properly can be a bit odd. Yes. It is kind of weird because I thought that it was basically fit for post... I haven't read up on this at all, uh, but I kind of thought that it was gonna be post-game stuff, so I was really, really apprehensive about starting the DLC too early. And now I'm here and it turns out that yeah, starting it early would have probably been a better choice. <laughs> like, story-wise it wouldn't have been, but if I knew this coming in, I would honestly probably switch to my Scarlet playthrough for this. Um, yeah. Grandpa, I'm home. Welcome home, Kieran. And who's this with you? Why do all of these guys in this family have weird hair? Uh, oh, um, this is Dina. She's part of the same school trip as me and sis. Yes. Oh, so this is a new friend of yours, eh, Kieran? Uh, I'd say so. We should be a bit apprehensive about calling people friends. <laughs> Wait, r really? We're friends? I couldn't say no to your grandpa. <laughs> Friends, I feel all tingly and funny hearing that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I guess we're friends now. <laughs> oh, she looks like a grandma. That's kind of cool. I haven't seen Pokemon do old people that well before. Thank you for befriending our Kieran here, Dina. No problem. Oh, Kieran's made a friend. Y yeah, this is Dina. Gina, this is my grandma. Well, fancy that. A friend of Kieran's. We're delighted to have you, Gina. Yee. Thank you. <laughs> Being friends via Peter Steele counts, Gina. Yes, <laughs> I would say it does. Uh, I was unsure if I should get the DLCs from the beginning, but as soon as I saw some of my favorite Pokemons reappear, I was hyped half <laughs> every time and then promptly went ahead and shine hunted. Yeah. Speaking of shiny hunt, what I did waiting for stream to start was that I shiny hunted Wulululululu. Um, 
It's my same shield Pokemon playthrough that I haven't started for I don't know how long, for probably a year. Just because I decided that my starter was going to be a shiny Wooloolooloolo. So I have been stuck on Route 1, shiny hunting Wooloolooloolo. It, mm, I do not recommend being as stubborn as I am at the same time as having as bad as luck as I have. <laughs> don't do as I say. Do, do, no, don't do as I do, do as I say. Mm. Ah, yes. <laughs> that one. Yes. <laughs> that one. Dragon is your favorite type. Yes. Dragon is awesome. Dragons are awesome. Yes. Oh, hello, Neo. Welcome to stream. I do hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. Mm. Oh my, is it really, really the Freddy sound down? Yes. Yes. Good as me. I'd really fo nearly forgotten. The Festival of Masks starts tonight, doesn't it? Come now, Kieran. You too, Dina. I'll get you, get out some Jinbei for you both so you can go to the festival or guess it. Gussied? That's my first time reading that word. Fine. Hear that? We get to dress up in Dinbei. Yay! You, what on earth is a Dinbei? <laughs> Why do I need to be so confused? No, no. Don't go off ru running out just yet. We have to do, uh, your, do up your hair too. Why am I suddenly getting worried? Gussy up is slang term for make yourself prettier or more attractive. Oh, I see. Thank, thank you, Edward. <laughs> there we are. All done. Ooh. Okay, okay. The hair was fine. Hair is fine. Like the hair. Uh, it suits you mighty fine, just as I thought you would. It would. Thank you. <gasps> oh, that's a cute little backpack. I like the cute little backpack. I want more of those little ba cute backpacks. Can I wear this? I can probably not wear the Jinbei, but I want I want the backpack. <laughs> Goodness, it's like I've gained another granddaughter. Uh, th thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hello, Techvania. Welcome to stream. I do hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. I imagine a stylish young thing like yourself could make use of this too, Dina. Ooh, I got a card. What on earth is a teal style card? <laughs> Every one of these cards increases the selection available to you in boutiques. Ooh! <gasps> I like it! Having that card should open up all sorts of new looks for, the, for you in the big city shop and salons. Awesome! Hey Grant, do you know where my... <gasps> what are you doing here? Dina said she'd go to the Festival of Mosques with me. Oh, really? Is that so? It is. What's the matter anyway? What are you doing back here? Alright. Gran, I couldn't find my mask for the festival. Oh, the mosques? They should be in the shed. I put them there after last year's festival. It shouldn't be locked, so you three can go and have a rummage and see what you find. We're gonna find a Pokemon. <laughs> oh, are you to the shed? First one there wins. We have an Ash in female form. Mm, apparently. Shopping spree incoming. Uh, no. <clears throat> Definitely not. <laughs> Please forgive those two, Dina. They can be a bit rambunctious. That they can. It's fine. I'm the adult here. It's fine. <laughs> yes, Kitty. Somebody needs to be the adult. Yes. A pling. Hmm? 
I thought that sounded a bit like a Drifloon. He's a Magikarp fountain. But it will. Did I miss anything? Mainly us just running down here and speaking Swedish. Yes. <laughs> oh, but there's gonna be another one. Sis, Gina's here. Just rolling up like you own the place. She's very bitter. But it looks like there's only two masks in the shed. Too bad, right? There's nothing I can do about it. Guess you'll just have to do without a mask, eh? First come, first served and all that. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, like... Why on earth would I... Like, pick a fight with her or make a fuss over it? It's their masks? It's... It's fine. I... I don't mind. I don't mind at all. I have a very cool backpack. I have priorities. So, you know, it's fine. <laughs> Come on now, don't look so glum. It, I, I am not glum. I am fine. <laughs> How about instead of a mask, I give you a battle in style. Festival style. Sure. Come on, get in position. Once again, I have six dragons. Six. Five fully evolved dragons. And I don't really know what the other is gonna evolve from. But apparently it has another evolution. <laughs> oh, some more Pico. Oh, I'm so scared. So scared. Feel free to be jostled by how I look, how great I look in my jean bay. You do not have as cool of a backpack as I have. I'm gonna be outraged. See? Oh, when you have a little. Oh, you have a focus sash. Yeah, and now we angry face. So Yeah, I was about to say that don't you dare be paralyzed. <laughs> he cheated in a second hit on you. Is it really not not okay? Hmm? Oh sinister, that's one of the things that I really really want. I'm gonna switch my Pokemon. I'm gonna go with Freya. Yes, the DLC has trainers using items now. They, they I kind of prefer that, honestly. <laughs> but the Sinistar, I want the Sinistar. I want it. Does me wanting it doesn't mean that I'm gonna. Not murder it, but you know. <laughs> By the way, I love that Morpeko ha has an animation for his ability here in this game, but he didn't have one in Sword and Shield. The game it debuted in. Oh, no. <laughs> Is this about the mask stopping with the super effective moves? No, I'm not gonna stop with the super effective moves. Mighty Hyena. I'm gonna switch my Pokemon. And in that case, I'm not gonna do the super effective th stuff. I mean, Quetzal kinda need the training, so. Mm. This is fine. <laughs> Hello, Becca. Welcome to stream. I do have been having a wonderful day so far. Yes. Do you know me? to catch her that much. I do need to catch her that much. Oh, I forgot about the Intimidate. Uh, Syrup Bomb. Here comes the Crunch. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. 
Is matcha tea superior to purple tea? I don't know because I haven't dr drinking purple tea ever. But now I also kind of know what you... But yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I kind of like the Sinistra more than Sinistra. I, can't, I really, really like the whole different thingamabobs. Uh, like the antique or the forgery version of Sinistra. I kind of like that. But... <laughs> I like purple tea more than matcha tea in terms of terror raid battles. I see. <gasps> you dare to faint my little apple? It's not the strongest of apples, but it is my apple. Don't you dare! Because <laughs> uh, it gets weak armor and skill swap. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I am a tea drinker, and I will say it depends on your preference. I like chai personally. Orange you all the way. Um, I I prefer black tea, but I kind of really like green tea as well. A lot of people find green tea bitter for some reason. I've always found that black tea has more of a bitter taste than the green ones. My favorite! And I, I haven't done this in quite a while, but one of my favorite things to do is to make matcha tea, you know, with the whole bamboo whisk thing in my bob you do. Um, and then you're gonna crush me. You're not gonna crush me. Please, I have five more dragons. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, but you, you do the matcha tea and then you pour it over a tiny little lump of vanilla ice cream it's pretty tasty because it's basically a matcha latte but with ice cream I like it where the might of my not fully evolved early game bug? Yes! <laughs> How on earth did that thing survive, my dragon? Dragon Claw. Huh. This sounds delicious. It is very delicious. It is incredibly delicious. <laughs> I would love matcha flower, haven't had matcha. I really like matcha flower flavor as well. Um, I kind of taught myself how to brew matcha. It's kind of difficult to do that though. So if you buy yourself a set, be prepared that it's gonna take a while before you learn how to actually do it. See you. Hello, Minimi. -mi. Welcome to the stream. I do hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. <laughs> Now am I? I am doing well. I'm, I was really tired before stream, but <laughs> as per usual, stream starts and I'm all hyped up and happy. So, <laughs> especially since internet is doing its job. Hey, you're supposed to be enamored and distracted by my festival style. I have dragons. I'm not gonna be distracted unless you just. Pick, suddenly turn up a dragon that I haven't seen before. Oh, well. It's not like beating me was gonna cause another mask to magically appear. Now then, let me get my mask. Hm. How's that? Look good, don't I? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Don't jinx it, jinx what I what 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 am I not supposed to jinx? I'm confused. <laughs> it's okay, Gina. You can just wear my mask. Now you can wear your mask, it's fine. What? No, I already said it's first come, first served. And besides, it's your ogre mask. You've always loved that mask best. Yeah, but 
No buts about it. Gina can just get her own mask at the festival. She's fine. Yeah, see, I am fine. Monkey, yes. Monkey. Monkey, monkey. She can't jinx, jinx it. She's a monotype and jinx is a nice fight psychic. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm not, I'm not allowed to get any jinxes. Unless they have a dragon terror type. And even so, I'm skeptic. I have a, I have a nice type. <laughs> now move it. Let's go. Yes. I think. Or have I removed my ice type? I've forgotten. I also believe Jinx is in, the, in this game. See? I am very much unable to Jinx it. <laughs> Sorry, Dina. I know my sis seemed kind of harsh, but, but she's really not all that bad. Actually, she was tearing the shed apart trying to find a third mask for you before you got there. Oh, but um, don't tell her I told you that, Dina. Sure. The festival of masks is held up in Kitakami Hall. We should probably get going. It's basically like Wooly. But not physically weak. Yeah, see I have my ice type. Don't need another. Uh. <sighs> okay, I need to heal up. Yeah, I would like my hip. Yes. Thank you. She's a very weird nurse. <laughs> I doubt you have any clothes or hair, so I'm just gonna... No. Amicia. You think I'm always over this way, right? I'm not confused, right? I was not confused. Good to know. I'm still gonna pick up all of the treasures along the road, though. I'm not gonna battle random folks, though, because they... They easy. Does it... Do any of you guys want to check how, how on earth do I evolve this thing? Because I know that I'm allowed to... I'm gonna evolve this thing somehow. I have forgotten how to do it. <laughs> I have a little presents. Lot of star pieces and pokeballs and cold and random stuff. It's not every day that you fight a level fifty-seven quicker dot. I would say it's kind of not that common. <laughs> we can evolve it in the later part of the DLC. I see. I see. Oh, I need a certain TM. Okay. 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 Hold on! No, you're brown, right? You're brown. Yeah. I see no sparkle. It's brown. It look it in the light it just looked white. So I was like, it is a white hoot hoot. <laughs> But now this was a very light brown one. <laughs> Shiny Hoot Hoot are notably more yellow. Yeah, I kind of thought... It's not the dragon. I want one so bad, but I, I, it's not a dragon. <laughs> oh, it's a nest leaf! I liked nest leaf when I was younger. I thought Nestleaf was cool. Especially because it, was, it just looked cool. And it had a big leaf on its head. Super cool. 
I also found bay leaf to be very cool because it also had a big leaf on top of its head. So apparently I had a thing for big leaves. <laughs> she thought it was a shiny hoot hoot, but this was a newt hoot. Newt newt, yes. Yes, yes. You know, it's like that you can't buy the festival mask during the festival, but the day after you can return and buy a mask if you want one. Really? That's... Weird. Ah, yes, a festival with like five guests. Cool. <laughs> what about Berlum? It has a mushroom on top of its head. It was also, I found it really, really cool as well. Ah, see the little ogre. I mean, what is that weird random stuff? Ooh. <laughs> This is the festival of masks. Today is just the first day. It'll keep going for a while. I bet you don't have any festivals the You call this big! I've been in small town markets bigger than this. <sighs> do, do I want to be kind? <laughs> Sure, our small town market is only for like, well, now during the winter, it's basically just four hours or something. So in, during summer, they are like 12 hours or something, but it's still one day. So that's true. <laughs> you are the adult here, Jean. That is, Yes. Yes. But as I said, I've... Honestly, this the the big market in like my home city... It's still a town, it's not a city. But that goes on for like two and a half days. So, you know. Also, to be fair, Pallet Town has like ten people living in it, right? Definitely. It has like... What is it? Three houses. <laughs> I uh, knew it. See, Kitakawa is just as good as any of your big shiny cities. Sure. <laughs> it's okay, Gina. Just ignore her. I, I am. I am. She, she's a kid. <laughs> I'll snap a photo so you can remember this amazing night forever. Give me your rotor stick for a sec. Come on, you two, scooting closer. Ow, you're stepping on my toes, sis. Oh, stop complaining. This will only, only take a second. Okay, are you all ready? Say Chansey. Chansey. I kind of like that they have Chansey as, as a sort of smile, say, thingamabob. I mean, about to get this care behind in the 2024. Yeah. Well, I do crush her mentally at each time we have a fight, so. Yeah. That's more of a hamlet than a town, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I call the nice festival vibe. The festival of Mars is held so we can honor the loyal three, the brave heroes of Kitakami. The loyal three are Pokemon that once protected this land from the evil ogre, you know? Most of the kids in town wear masks of the loyal three, like me. Did I mention they are our, our heroes? We kind of did. And cheese. But you like cheese. That, yes, cheese is awesome. Can use chancy more than cheese. Yes. What? What are you laughing at? Laughing at? N nothing. I was just thinking it's funny that like you don't know anything about the ogre. What? I know the legends of Kitakami better than anybody. Pretty gutsy of you to laugh about at your big sis. S sorry. Hmm. 
Kiki is still a little baby, so of course he thinks some kind of terrible monster is cool. He likes the ogre more than the loyal three. Oh look, they've got candy apples. Let's go check out the stalls. Yes, you do, I. Sounds like a good, good option. Kieran's life is about to be all ogre now. Yes. I want ice cream. Brain freeze. I have. I've never gotten brain freeze. I haven't even heard of Brain Freeze until just American kids shows. What on earth are you wearing? Please tell me that is not a Pokemon because that looks like a Power Ranger. And we have a legged legged Duskull. Oh, do I need to buy a candy apple? Fine. <laughs> We've given fruits and berries beautiful candy coatings. I need to buy stuff. D uh, dragon. Ooh, teensy tiny. But I don't want teensy tiny. But sure, candy peanut berry. Pay with cash. Party of one for a delectable candy experience. Yes. Well, I understand liking the monsters more. When I was a kid, I liked monsters more as well, like trolls. Wait. We didn't like it? Why did we not like it? It's a pineapple. In candy! I apparently dislike pineapple. Um. Oh, is that Eevee mask? And this is another one. I want to buy a mask, but no one is at the store. It's some shaved ice. I do not want shaved ice. I want ice cream. There is... Ooh, Alola. Um, but yeah, I want I want ice cream. No ice cream for me, apparently. Uh, got to call it here, by the way, folks. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Bye, bye, Edward. Have a lovely rest of the day. Yes. I love bright blue, bright blue food and drinks. That's that's cool. I just I'm not used to bright colored anything. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Thanks for the stream, Gina. Eat free, fresh, stay healthy, stay safe, and yes, yes, you too, gaming. You too. Have a lovely rest of the day. Over here. Every, 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 I'm not allowed to move. I have bought a candy apple. Not a candy apple, but a candy berry. Hello? The brother of mine is awful quick to run around when he doesn't like me. Mm. Do I actually need to buy a candy apple? Because that's slightly obnoxious. Fried noodles. I like fried noodles. Looks very tasty, but I, I don't think I'm supposed to eat that. Oh, here's where it stood. Am I supposed to take one of these, or am I just... I'm supposed to talk to him. Okay, fine. <laughs> The stall is closed until after the teal mask store, so you can go back and buy masks and other accessories. That, that's cool, that's cool. Uh, excuse me, two candy apples, please. You got it, two candy apples coming right up. Everyone is having an ogre mask. I don't, I don't understand why his big sister is just... 
So there's like, oh, he's just a kid. He likes monsters. Everybody, like I, I have only seen one with any of the heroes most. Maybe possibly two. Other than that, I've seen Pikachu, I have seen Eevee, and I've seen like three monster mosques. <laughs> uh, here is Yuna. You can have one. Thank you. Grandma gave me some pocket money, so it's no big deal. I love candy apples. You don't get to eat them every day, you know? I have eaten a candy apple like once. <laughs> Grandma always just makes as much tea as a snack. I would love that, honestly. I've only had like mochi in um, in a candy package that's just like imported. <laughs> but it, it was tasty. It was tasty. Yeah, there's even a Pokemon in Kitakami that looks like an old candy apple. Did you? I have one of those. Hey, let's check that out over there. Yes. Gotta say I love the new Pikachu in the new anime, Captain Pikachu. I haven't seen that yet. I haven't seen that yet. Everybody likes heroes, but everyone loves a good villain. Bowser is being the biggest example. I was about to say Joker being the biggest example of that. See, there's two more monster masks. I have four mons five monster masks in this image at the same time. What on earth do you mean? By the heroes being more popular. You are just statistically wrong. Like we have one little... This is Eevee. With a monster. So never mind. It was six. Then we have Pikachu. And there we have an ogre. There we have an ogre. Here's an ogre. There's an ogre. Here's another one. How can you be so confident and yet so wrong? Okay, here we have some heroes. Probably. That's an ogre. And a hero. And an ogre. And an ogre and a Pikachu. So ogres are still the more popular ones. Am I even a... Maybe, no, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I just assumed the time to go this way. Oh yeah, I found him. I found him. It's fine. Maybe the ogre mask is a new trend. Maybe so. Maybe so. Step right up for a game of ogre Austin. So y'all want to have a go? Yeah, sure. Hey, you're one of those kids that came all the way from Poldia, right? Yes. I can't very well take money from a guest. Have a go in the house. Thank you. Oh, you're gonna try it, Gina? I'll um, I'll cheer you on from. A safe distance. Need a safe distance. You're up for a run of Ogre Austin, huh? Y yes. I did one just now. It was pretty easy. For me, that is. <sighs> that means that I need to win this. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> My score was 6,390. Think you can do better? I, I, I doubt it. I, I, I'm not that good on min in mini games. <laughs> Go get her, Dina. I, I'm gonna try. I am not confident. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Out of the story, I can go through this mini game again on a hard difficulty for more better prizes, including one shiny Pokemon. Ooh. Ogre Austin is a traditional game that has been played in Mosui Town since long ago. Gather up lots of berries and bring them to the berry tables to try and earn yourself a high score. Playing field is dotted with ogre balloons in four different colors. Pop this balloon to collect berries inside them. It's 
There are also four different colors of berry tables at your home base. Place one of your berries on a matching table by getting close to it and pressing the A button. Once you manage to place the target number of berries on these tables, you win. From time to time, a greedy Pokemon may gather, gather around the berry tables, hoping to gobble up all your hard earned berries. If you let them, they'll eat until your, all your berries are gone. Use the R button to scare them off. Okay, green. Lots of green. Nyom! And then do do. Where on earth is home? Uphill. There is home. <laughs> I need to press buttons for everything. Okay, fine. There we go. It's a lot easier to do with more players, but easy mode, well, it's easy to do solo. Yes. Uh, five of these. So all of those. Where on earth is the red ones? Uh, this is just a couple. Um, okay, black ones. We need more of. We need more red. Mm, we're done. Yes, we're done. Where on earth are my stuff? There is my stuff. Oh, there were a lot of red stuff here. I don't know why the like I pressed the button on the red and then they just stopped counting. <laughs> Would love to travel for free, also lots of places I would like to visit. Yes! Yeah, traveling is kind of cool. H. There's a lot of reds over here. Um, and they're black here. There we have a couple of reds. And a lot of the blues. And we need greens. We also need a black one, apparently. Greens! Green! Green, 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 green. Can't hold any more berries, apparently. Hello, I'm pressing the button! I don't have enough. I don't have enough of the stuff. I thought I had enough of the stuff. Uh, I probably should have checked around more. This is... No! Don't! Don't you dare! Mine! I just need a green one. Mm, and we need one of those, and we need one of those. You can put a mash to put all the berries in. I kind of tried, but sometimes it didn't work, <laughs> weirdly enough. Dragon Terror Shard. Awesome. I can't keep playing, so. Yes. Greedent and Munchlax are perfect bear stealing Pokemon, to be honest. They, that they are. And Snorlax. Mochi works exactly like Vitamins. Ooh, that's cool. That's cool. That was some fine dashing about. 
Let's see now. You scored 6,433 points. So here's your prize. Please tell me that I beat obnoxious lady. <laughs> EXP charm? And one of these charms include the is So it's an EXP share in a game that has a permanent EXP share on. Cool. For all of your extra EXP stuff. Hi Carmine, Musui's reigning champion of ogre balloon busting. Have been defeated! Yes, yes you have. <laughs> it's blue. It is blue! It is blue! Welcome, Ophi. Welcome, welcome. I do hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. <laughs> oh, yes, because we didn't have enough XP thanks games. Yeah. Honestly, though, we have a dragon that needs it a bit more than the others. <laughs> uh, I hate losing. I want to give another, have another go to get even, but I'm all out of pocket money. Kiki, you go and beat Dina for me. N no. What's that? You're talking the, taking the side of an outsider over your own sister? That makes me so annoyed I think I'm gonna black out. Go ahead and black out. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> oh, well, you do ride on a legendary Pokemon. That is true. That is true. Uh, sorry she's causing such a scene. Don't worry, I'll deal with her. Why don't you wander around a bit in the meantime? Oh, wonder who that is. Weird. It's a very pretty little ogre. According to a nearby, nearby NPC, other people ride on Stantler for this minigame, which is a nice nod to Word Deer from Legends Arceus. That, it is a very, really, really, really nice nod to thine. I'm gonna chase after the cute little ogre. Hi, it's over there now. Hi. It's very cute. It has cute little arms. Don't know if those are clothes or what on earth that is. But it's very cute. Very cute. It's fun! <laughs> a mysterious child is staring at you from behind their mask. This is not a child. <laughs> this is a Pokemon. Are you... Uh, I'm gonna say that's a cool mask because it's all glittery and stuff. Bonio! Hey Gina, listen to this. It's nuts. Kiki is no use at all. Zero talent for ousting ogres, I'm telling you. Hey, who was that? It's a Pokemon. I'm gonna chase after the Pokemon who's gonna go to his den, probably. But we're gonna chase it. Ooh, cinematic. Wait, Tina. You shouldn't run off on your own. Hey, new kid. That goes for you, too. Yeah. Here's your mask. You should come back. The mountain's dangerous at night. I'm gonna run after the Pokemon child. Because I have dragons, I am not scared of no ogre mountain. I have gotten the teal mask. Just like the DLC is called. She's shy. She's really shy. She's really cute. I am getting the urge to protect. <laughs> a teal mask fashioned after the face of an ogre. Ogre, 
Ogre upon dropped it while fleeing up the stairs after visiting the festival of masks. Hey, kitty, where did kitty? There is kitty. Okay, fine. Who was that? Where did that kid come from? I don't think it was a kid. I'm very sure it wasn't a kid. What are you talking about? Wait, do you mean... The kid we just saw, they ran off toward the mountain. C could it have been the, no the ogre? From the story of all, on all the sideboard signboards? Are you saying that story was true? There tends to be a smidgen of truth in legends, so... Hello, Doggo! Doggo! You have a very angry kitty there, yeah? <laughs> Doggo just came into the room and kitty came in after her, jumped up on a shelf and then started hissing, so Doggo had to escape. <laughs> You could stand to be a bit more kind towards lesser beings like dogs, you know. Hmm. Apparently not. <laughs> I mean, they did drop a mask, so they really must be. Gina, sis. What are you guys doing over here? Um. There was an ogre here? And... <laughs> hey, wait, stop, stop, stop. The truth can often be found in lies, some dude probably. Yes, yes. Why are you yelling all of a sudden, sis? It's nothing, it's nothing to be interested in at all, I swear. Huh. <laughs> oh, I get it. I bet you're making fun of me behind my back. Uh, no. Wait, I am just gonna head back to the festival. Why, why is that his first thought? I'm getting the urge to protect Kieran as well. I'm gonna protect everyone. Phew, at least I didn't figure out what we were really talking about. I'm not sure this is better. He thinks that I am his friend and he now thinks that his friend and his sister are talking bad things about his back. No, <laughs> talking, talking bad behind his back. Um, yeah. As a fellow introvert, I wasn't a fan of how they did this particular part of the story. I don't like being railroaded into lying to someone. Yeah, say, same, same. And also, I don't understand why on earth we are lying in the first place. Like, I. I I get that she's trying to protect him. <clears throat> but I think it would have been better for her to not try to lie. But to just go like, well, we aren't sure. We saw something weird that we kind of can't explain. And it might have been a Pokemon, but it might have also been a kid. I think that is better. To just pump the brakes and not just... No, 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 no. It... No. We wasn't talking about nothing. It is better if you think that we are very bad people that talk trash behind your back. Apparently. Don't scare me like that. Blabbing for the whole world to hear. Don't you have any filter? No. I like information. See, Kiki really likes the ogre. Like, really, really, really likes it. So if he found out we'd seen the ogre without him, I, I guess I was afraid he'd feel bad, you know. <clears throat> I I think he wouldn't been excited to know that it actually existed. So. I mean, you know your bro best, but... I, I do not recommend lying. Yeah, it's one of the worst examples in Pokemon where the pro tag lets things happen just because plot. Because Arceus forbid we have choices. Yes. 
What on earth are consequences for actions and choices? What are those? Difficult to code, apparently. Be left out or something. Um, am I overthinking it? Yes. Besides, I didn't want him running up the mountain to follow the ogre at his hour either. I have dragons, we'll be fine. I can even grab a salamence and then we'll have a flying dragon. It's fine. <laughs> How many times during this playthrough have I just uttered the words, I have dragons, it's fine. Because <laughs> I feel like I've done that um, a lot of times. <laughs> Well, in any case, we already lied about it, and that's that. And I disagree with that. Let's keep this whole thing our little secret, okay? I disagree with that! <laughs> I'm a dragon tamer, it's fine! Yes, yes. <laughs> I've seen that, I've said that so many times. And maybe hold off on showing Kiki that mask you just picked up, too. Fine. Honestly, I would love if the protagonist had like two completely different options in important situations that would lead to two different stories with the same-ish ending for both. Yeah, at least have characters say things differently. Look, other kids his age fight local gods. I'm sure he'll be fine. Yes. I mean, me and him are probably the same age. We are fine. I have a level 70 pseudo legendary soon. Honestly, I have quite a lot of soon level 70 pseudo legendaries. I highly doubt anything's gonna be able to touch us. We're fine. <laughs> Let's just have another one of the main side characters die, how about that? I need to check the festival. Hello. Had enough of the festival? Yes. Well then, guess we should head home. I'll walk you back to the community center. <laughs> Uh, but that's kind of one of the things that I really liked about Legends Arceus, that your character would die. Like, sure, you respawned and stuff like that, but there, it kind of felt like, yes, your character was in mortal peril for a lot in the story. Um, I really, really like that about Legends Arceus. And the ruthlessness in both the people in the Zui and the region itself. I liked it. And the whole, the time you had to fight a mountain. You know, I have never in my entire life fought a mountain. Except in Legends Arceus. <laughs> Uh, like, the only time I can think of something like that in Pokemon is black and white, because, of course, when you have to answer a question for N mid-game, it'll change what he said, he'll say in the end. Yes. Black and white proving once again that it silently peaked with those games. Hmm. Yeah, so some things peaked there. I uphold Legends Arceus. Like that story. <laughs> I feel like Legends Arceus is more for adults as well, though, so. No. But Black and White are very good games. 
Ah, uh, the brightness. What do you mean head outside when I'm ready? What what on earth do I need to ready up myself for? I know. <laughs> I just felt someone staring at me and I looked down to see a couple of yellow eyes just staring straight through my soul. There you are, Dina. Just because we didn't agree to meet doesn't mean you get to keep me waiting. I'm not sure how you came up to that. But... What? <laughs> so, uh, you see, I wanted to talk to you a bit. That is wrong to lie? You haven't told anyone, anyone about the... You know, the thing that happened yesterday, right? No. No, no I haven't. Don't know why you're keeping it a secret. Better not be lying. If I find out you blabbed, I'm gonna make you swallow a coughing hole. That's, that's, that sounds uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds really uncomfortable. <laughs> I just hope we get the new Unova remake. There will be a remake with character customization outfit purchase and hopefully not Chibi, I hope. I hope for legends. <laughs> legends whatever. Legends Reshiram and Kyorum. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Hello Shadow Senpai. Welcome to stream. I do hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. Mm. I, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. But fine, I mean good. It's it's been it's been it's been a week and a half. Like my brain has understood that it's not Friday today. But it's struggling to figure out that it's not Thursday. <laughs> I actually kinda don't want to remake. I'd rather have another game set in the Unova region, so kinda like a black and white three. But black and white without black and two would feel kind of just like half the story. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with that. I feel like the Unova, it's it's weird to remake only black and white one. And it's weird to remake only black and white two. I think they could do something really, really awesome and really, really cool with it. And that is also part of the reason why I kind of hope for a Legends whatever black and white thing because i feel like you could get the original story there or you could go a sequel or you could do both like they did in sino or sino was a remake and yeah quality wise mm. kid is weird <laughs> It's on fire. Oh, see? Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> Let's just get Pokemon Grey. Uh, no, please. <laughs> Pokemon Legends Grey. Dun, dun, dun. Pokemon Legends Grey 3. Or 4. Just skip number 3 and go straight to 4. Hoping they don't remake the Unova games and instead make a black 3, white 3 as well as the Legends Kyurem. Would be very cool. I'd love a Legends Kyurem set in the like the 1950s, like that would be the time where they got Pokeballs. I'm not sure about the 50s. I, Hisui got their Pokeballs in like the beginning of the... Of the 20th century or 19th century, not really sure. Sometime there. I have a century to play with. Sometime there. Um, I definitely think they got Pokeballs before the 50s. Because the 50s had, had cars and stuff. Um... But since Unova is based on the USA, 
I would kind of like to see... Like, you know, Wild West, Unova? With, like, the East Coast, really, really, like, large cities, and the West just complete wilderness. I feel like that would be really, really interesting. I know you got the deserts, and the mountains, and the lakes, and the ocean. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like there's a lot of interesting time periods they could dabble in. And you could also go just... You know, 1600s. <laughs> There's a lot of times to explore. You still have that thing we picked up at the stairs, right? My grandpa knows a lot about the village's history. We should go talk to him about what happened yesterday. Oh, oh no, I'm getting tired again. You know where my house is, right? See you there. Don't keep him waiting. Let's show grandpa the... You know, the thing we found. Western Pokemon some kind of fun. Yes, exactly! Western Pokemon. <laughs> it's still got Pokeballs in the 19th century, I think. Though Drayden mentioned they were, weren't were any in his childhood. Maybe because they didn't have Apricorns. Maybe, I don't know. I think we shouldn't think about Pokemon timelines that much. Because Kurt exists. And apparently, Pokeballs didn't exist in the Yota region until very late. So how on earth they got to Hisui before that, I don't know. <laughs> Sounds like Palworld to me. Yeah, maybe so. So maybe they won't do it because of Palworld, which would honestly be very annoying. This town ain't big enough for the two gym leaders of us. Yes. Yes, yes. We will just and not get banned every instantly. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the, the grandpa house. Hello, Grandpa. Just hope it isn't like Eternus GMAX for yeah, yeah, no no thanks to that. Good morning to you, Dina. Hey Dina, good morning. He's awake, huh? Wanna go see the last signboard? Kiki go find somewhere else to be. This is not gonna end up well. Gina's got business with me. This is not gonna end up well. This is not gonna go well. This is a very, very bad idea. Seriously, she's spending all her time with you. That, that's so unfair. You can be such a jerk. What did you just call me? You are being a jerk. You're being a massive jerk. Me personally would give her a stare and go after Kieran. Maybe just give the mask to Grandpa. And go after Kieran. Because mask is not that important. It's not that important that we get to know what it is that quickly. You need some anger issues. You need some help with your anger issues. This is why I don't like Carmine. Yeah, yes. Yes. Yes, Gina, that would make sense. But choo-choo, we're on a railroad that we are. And this is the kind of railroad that I really, really like because it's so uncomfortable. And I just feel like... 
can my character please have some common sense? I would like my character to have a slight modicum of common sense. Thank you. Apparently not. <laughs> What's his deal? Kiki should know better than to talk to me like that. You're being the... Look at the kettle. Look at the pot calling the kettle black. I think that's a saying or something like that. Honestly. That's enough, Carmine. Be kind to your younger brother. I'm with Jepa. I was being kind. It's not like I. Your threshold for being kind. Is like a kilometer beneath the ground. It's... Nope. 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 Nope, 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 nope. I so would love it the game has actually made you the champion for once. Like you could go into the Elite Four building and just accept trainers to fight. Ooh, Sun and Moon did that. That's kind of cool. Because, yeah, I've kind of. I mean, I'm kind of have responsibilities for a champion in this game too. Like I'm supposed to battle the gym leaders to keep them in line or whatever. Um, but, yeah, I. I would kind of like that in a Pokemon game. <laughs> also, the Sun and Moon, especially with the Battle Tree Tower thingy. I I have I have not gotten that far in Pokemon Sun and Moon. I couldn't do Island too. <laughs> and I thought about that as well, but didn't have to fight the Elite Four every time. I don't know. Anyway, we got more important things to discuss, right? You know, no, we do not. Come on, you got, you got to show Grandpa that thing you have. The EXP charm. Hmm, now this is. No, not that. I'm talking about the thing we found yesterday. Oh, uh, you you mean the teal style card? <laughs> oh, oh, the thing, the thing we got yesterday, the roto stick. <laughs> I know she's a fictional character, and this doesn't annoy her in the slightest. Did I do it out of spite? Yes. Yes, I did. Could this be? This mask. It belongs to that poor ogre. Where did you find this? We bumped into it. The ogre, I mean. Yesterday at the Festival of Masks. I tried talking to it nice and all everything, but it dropped that mask and... Yeah. I never would have thought that, th that the ogre would still be gracing our festival with its presence. Yeah, see, the ogre isn't that bad. What do you mean still? I thought the ogre was a scoundrel that attacked the village. I suppose it's time I told you, Carmine. 
You see, the truth of what happened with that ogre is the other way around. The other way around? What do you mean? You should hear this too, Dina. You also met the poor ogre, or ogre pun, as it's rightly named. Let me tell you the true story as passed down through our family for generations. Oh, hello, Alistair! Hello, it's nice to meet you. Now can you tell me where I am? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da. Yeah. Hello, I hope you're doing okay. Are you doing okay? That's good, that's good, that's good. That's good. Uh, I hope this one is reading you well. <laughs> It's going a bit of a long story to tell. Is that all right? Yes. I like stories. Plot twist going crazy right now. I am. <laughs> okay, anyways. This story has been passed down in our family by word of mouth. I learned it from my father. It's a story of truths. A story of what must never be told to the rest of the village. You must never speak of it to others. Okay. Oh, am I getting a movie? I like the movies. Okay, it's a slideshow. Fine. <laughs> this next cutscene is interesting. As you place close attention, there is a secret fourth number. A fourth member of the Loyal Three. Oh, I see. A long, long time ago, a man and an ogre came to Kitakami from a foreign land. People of the village feared the man and the ogre who looked so different from them. Not very surprising. And so they, refu they refused to let the travelers come anywhere near the village. The man and the ogre were saddened that the villagers did not welcome them. But they were happy just to have each other. They settled quietly in a cave on the mountain. There was only one villager who pitied the two travelers, the village mask maker. He made several masks for the man and the ogre. The masks were brilliant works, adorned with gems the man bought from somewhere far away. Like Poldia. By wearing these masks, the travelers could hide their true faces and mingle with the villagers. The man and the ogre were overjoyed. They thanked the mask maker for his kindness. Wearing the masks, the man and the ogre started secretly joining the village festival. The mysterious pair soon became the talk of the village because of their brilliant masks. Oh, it's a squirtle mask! Ooh, and a Lapras mask! Those are probably my favorite. They're, like, there's... There's other mosques that I recognize, but those are my favorites. Because Squirtle... Reminds me of Bulbas War. And Lapras. I like, I like Lapras. <laughs> In fact, rumors about them quickly spread far and wide, even to distant lands. But rumors of, of exquisite shining masks attract more than just innocent curiosity. A group of greedy Pokemon soon made their way to the land of Kitakami. These Pokemon sneaked into the cave in which the man and the ogre lived. And tried to make off with the masks which were carefully stored away. The man happened to be there. He managed to hold on to one of the masks. But he was not strong enough to protect them all. The Pokemon stole the other three masks. Several hours later, when the ogre returned to the cave, it found its beloved home in ruin. All that was left were the signs of a struggle and a teal mask. The ogre donned that mask and went down to the village, perhaps to search for his friend. 
It found the greedy Pokémon there, gloating over their stolen masks, and defeated them. The villagers, of course, had no idea what was happening, nor why. All they saw was the raging ogre, and they felt great fear. The villagers thought the three Pokémon had fallen trying to protect the village from the ogre. To honor their sacrifice, the villagers named them the Loyal Three and interred them with care. Wounded and weak, the ogre returned to its cave, alone and with great sadness. It doesn't seem fun. That's terrible. It is terrible. Ogre Pot didn't deserve that. And the Loyal Three, they're the worst. The story everyone's been told is the complete opposite of the truth. They gotta hear about this. Or not. Oh, this girl. This girl. Well, I heard domed and not donned as in dominant. Oh, oh, I see, I see. I'm currently using a team that's focused on super buffing Orgapon and then just beating everyone, I see. <laughs> uh, is the event time limited? Which event? This event? Or what event? Love how so many legendaries in this game have a bond account. <laughs> that that they do. Um, yes. <laughs> okay, punch since, since she killed the loyal three. Yes. Calm yourself, Carmine. I told you already to keep it to yourself. But Grandpa, the villagers believe their own version of the story, of history. They're very the loyal three. So how? Would they react to being told that they have got it all wrong? They'd probably get angry. Exactly. Back when this all first occurred, the mask maker, that is to say our ancestor, tried desperately to tell the truth of the matter. But nobody would take him seriously. In fact, it said he was persecuted as a heretic. Oh, that really gets my blood boiling. Yeah. Wouldn't Yaveltal have the highest out of all Pokemon since it absorbs the life force in the surrounding area before going into a coma? We also have Giratina. Which is, you know... Stuff. <laughs> and isn't Giratina like... Uh, responsible for an entire civilization going to ruin or something like that. <laughs> Is it, yeah, a lot of them have body counts in the thousands instead of single digits. In the end, the mask maker chose to protect his descendants, us, by keeping his mouth shut. However, he kept the truth alive, passed down from generation to generation as a family secret. It is pretty cool. I see. Kiki doesn't know the whole story yet, does, does he? He shouldn't know. I've certainly never spoken to him about it. Why do you ask? I don't know. He just really seems to like the ogre. He's practically obsessed. And he's been trying to one-up me as if he knows more about Ogre Pond than I do. Well, I can't say what's going on with the boy, but he always was a sensitive child. It wouldn't surprise me if he's somehow un in intuited the truth. 
Oh, hello, board. Welcome to stream. I do hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. Giratina has never killed anyone in the games it was in. Are you sure? Because in Legends Arceus, they kind of have runes everywhere. And Giratina is kind of... What I understood, at the very least, is that Giratina was responsible for it. Maybe it wasn't. I'm not sure. Um... Oh, it's dedicated its life to protect us enough to the protagonist defeat did it. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I haven't done the post game in Legends Arceus. <laughs> I promise to tell Kira and the whole story when the time is right. The time is right probably pretty soon. Until then, take care not to breathe a word to the of the truth to anybody. Giratina is just an edgy cinnamon roll. I see, I see. So. Basically, I will tell in that case then. <laughs> okay, Grandpa. Now I really can't tell Kiki we met the ogre. No! We should tell him! Ugh. Oh, you have to someday, and now I know to never mention certain spoilery things. That is good. That's good. Like, the games I kind of play in my spare time at the moment are Hogwarts Legacy, Shiny Hunting, so that I can finally start playing Pokemon Shield. <laughs> Uh, Pokemon Scarlet, I haven't played that in quite a while, but Legends Arceus, those are kind of the four main ones. Sometime I try to do the Shining Brilliant Diamond, a yeah, Brilliant Diamond. Yes, woo -la 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 -la. yes. that's the only, only way to pronounce the things with repeating syllables. <laughs> You know, we have the ra ta 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 and the woo lo 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 About that mask you showed me, I noticed the jewel on his forehead was chipped. I might be able to fix it. Would you mind leaving the mask for me for a little while? Oh, huh. maybe it got chipped when it fell down the stairs. Or it could have been chipped before previously, because it seems to be a hundred years old, years old or more. Since Grandpa's offering, let's get it all nice and fixed up before they let we give it back to Ogre Pun. Yeah, yes. So does that mean sparse? No, because that would mean that it has that amount of body parts. Because you know you have dun sparse and then you have dun dun sparse and then you have da da dun sparse. Da 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 na 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 dun sparse would have a lot. It would basically be a very long snake. <laughs> 20 segments gonna be crazy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dan Sparis is uh, special. It actually grows with the amounts of onions. Don't you worry. I'll be sure to take good care of this. Awesome. The dance bars was not... Oh, he's been listening in. Awesome. Great. Wonderful. Oh, it's getting to the point where it physically hurts. Whew. The dance bars was not the evolution people wanted, but it's the one the one that we deserved. Yes. Yes. Da 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 dance bars is just Ouroboros. Yes. <laughs> I want to see Ogre Fun again, but getting its mask fixed will have to come first. 
and telling your brother before your brother does something stupid and I need to fix it for both of you would be good. For now, we should carry on with orienteering before Kiki gets suspicious. Wheelie. I bet we'll find Kiki just killing time somewhere in town. You are not the best sister. I'm gonna be an even worse friend because I need to find some clothes. I want the purple clothes. And I do not know where to buy the things. So I'm gonna guess that I can buy the things over here. Highly doubt it, but it's the only store around. Buy clothing! Can I have purple clothing? I cannot have purple clothing. I'm stuck with brown and green. Not brown. I can I can see the difference between green and brown. Yes, because I didn't get I didn't get the purple clothes. I'm sad. Oh Lord, our red Vulcan to stream. I do hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Hello, Kirin. Oh, yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you. I hope you're doing good as well. I need gloves and socks made for, for, by Grandma. Yay. This is... Oh, uh, hey, Dina. So I I was gonna ask, what were you and my sis just uh, talking about? I'm gonna get forced to lie. <sighs> This and that, I guess. Oh, I I see. So, so about those signs, the last one's a bit of a hike away. It's in the Paradise Ooh, Paradise Barrens on the other side of Oni Mountain. We'll need to head over the mountain and down toward the northwest. You go on ahead, I'll catch up. Why don't we walk together? Why? Why did you lie to me? That is a very good question. It is a very, very, very good question. Choo choo, we're on the railroad. I dislike being on this railroad. I want to jump off this train. Thank you very much. Where on earth am I supposed to go? Oh, Paradise Parents. Okay, okay. I found it. Do I go that way? Because that way doesn't seem feasible. I am slightly confused as to how to get to that place. I'm gonna try this way. Plot Kieran will lied because Plot demanded it. Yes, and that is the only reason because I wouldn't have otherwise. Are any of you brown? I see no brown birdie. And no green apple. Now oh, that was the shiny stuff and not a green apple. Nope. Ooh, that was a whole lot of apples. 
Not not the green one though. So what does the sign say? Not what I wanted it to say. But over yonder we go. We're basically just testing how manipulative we are without si without saying the fewest amount of words. While saying the fewest amount of words, yes. That's basically it and I dislike it. I am gonna ignore all of the trainers. Oh, there's a Levani! And Yanma stuff. Oh, it was just napalm. You're fine. Eyes are grabbing. And more Pico. And stuff. Okay, where do I go? Bar Barons this way. We are on the correct path, apparently. Oh, <gasps> it's is this I mean it's a tiny little 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 demon bug but it's a cutie fly I mainly wanted to see what you know I avoided the attack I said fine you get to live you do not get to live You dare to attack me, then force me to miss, and then, and then you force me to miss. <laughs> cute fly is small but dangerous. It's a cute little demon. It is a cute little demon, but now it's it's the next demon. I got all three shoes. What is a poison den? I am not interested in the poison stuff. So onwards we go. It's too small to be hit. <laughs> that that was probably it, honestly, probably it. I like this place. It's kind of pretty. That's a psychic den. You don't care about the psychic dens either. I kind of feel like psychic and ooh, kind of, psychic and ghost types are types that I kind of struggle to have on my team because I'm always like the amount of Pokemon that's able to learn bite is kind of insane and those guys the psychics and the ghost ghosties oh Shinx I like Shinx uh, but yeah, those the psychic and the ghosts are kind of weak to the to the bites. So, ooh, I have a lot of treasure around these parts. Ooh, earthworm stuff. Yeah, exactly. Watch out! There was the you had you had a pseudo voodoo right at your back. Oh, it's a tiny little, little, little thing. Oh, it's a tiny, no, no, not that thing. <gasps> dragon. Found a dragon. <laughs> Good thing bite is only 60 base power. That is true. But 60, by, 60 base power can be, can be a lot. Let's quick ball the thing. 
I rarely make... Uh, these things rarely work for me, though. It did work this time, though. <laughs> one of my favorite dragons. Yes, it's a cool one. It's a cool one. Understandable, so many Pokemon can learn Bite and Crunch naturally. Yeah. Yes. Really cool and interesting dragon design. Really like it. It is very, it's very cute, very cute. Also, it's right on the top. That it is. It's very cute. We need a name of a god, by the way, or a goddess, I guess. It's a she. <laughs> Young Mo's data has been added to the Pokedex. They communi communicate with their allies using the sound. Sounds their scales make when struck. A group of these Pokemon causes quite a racket. It's very cute. I love Kongmo, Kongmo, but it's shiny, it's ugly. When the... So look at the gender. It was a girl. It's a girl. Hina, a Hawaiian goddess. That could be cool. I'd like to use dance moves, so maybe God related to that. Okay, Athena, maybe. No. We have, we have, we don't have a lot of the, <laughs> of the Greek gods with us, but we have a lot of Greek gods. We have a lot of Nordic gods, so preferably not those. <laughs> uh, but a Hawaiian goddess would be really, really cool because of the uh, home region. Laka is the Hawaiian goddess of dance. That is cool. What is Hina the Hawaiian goddess of? Ostara, German. Ooh, ooh. I haven't heard about that one at, at all, actually. I am also gonna mispronounce these goddess <laughs> gods and goddesses so much. I'm pretty sure that I've already done so, especially for Nuba. <laughs> um, this, this is. Ina is goddess of heavens and earth, protector of travelers at night and fertility. Ooh, that's cool. In that case, I'm gonna go with Hina, which is also kind of... Because Hina is a name in a lot of manga and anime, and I'm just... Like, Hina, for me, is a small, cute girl. <laughs> But yeah, they, they, yes. And now is the tough part. Because I would love to have Hina in our party. But what on earth do I switch out? <laughs> because none of these should be switched out for a Jang Mo. <laughs> uh. And Quetzal Quattle. Mm. That's a new dragon. It's a new dragon. But yeah. Oh, that's a good idea, Take Minute. We could kind of switch out the overleveled ones. Is there we have Hermes, by the way? <laughs> Skiomi, Tiamat. Oh, we did we didn't evolve Ares Ares that much. Okay, so we didn't didn't have a Salamence. I do have a Dragonite though. No, that's something. <laughs> Skadi and Nuwa has similar weaknesses, if that matters. Which probably does. 
I can switch out Nua for the time being. Nua has been really, really awesome to have with us, though, so I kind of... Mm, but switching her out. By... Yeah. We also suddenly have a whole lot of girls in our team. I'm not used to that. Considering that our white playthrough is all boys for some reason. Uh, okay, so Hermes and Nu are the ones that we have kind of switched out from the main team. And this is a disappointment. For obvious reasons. I thought it was a dragon. It is in fact not a dragon. <laughs> um. Oh, it's an earthworm. The thing gives me the creeps. Isn't that kind of weird though? Worms in real life doesn't give me the ick. Spiders have no issue with them. Centipedes, no issue with them. I prefer not to touch them, but I can touch them. Earthworm, for some reason. Is it the hands? It is the hands. The hands are creepy. <laughs> I think it's some sort of, like, uncanny valley-esque thing for me with the hands. Not <laughs> Santa Scorch is neat. It yes, Santa Scorch is very neat. Level 70 what I'm sorry? This is an outrage. Wild Pokemon being higher level than I am? Do I actually need to fight and do stuff? I don't need to actually fight and do stuff, apparently. But maybe I'm actually gonna... I'm actually gonna give the item to Hina because Hina needs to evolve ASAP. Where on earth is the... Here is the item. Or maybe not. Boost energy! Ha! Wait, do... Uh, what? What? How? What? What is this? <laughs> I like that I just have a random item that I just don't remember getting and have absolutely no idea what it's for. <laughs> okay, item is not there. Item is here. Item is not there. Um. What? <laughs> I thought I, I could give the EXP charm to Hina? Because having one of these... Or is it just plus XP shared XP to everyone? It might be just plus extra XP to everyone. Which was decidedly not what I had in mind. Okay. 
There's a lucky egg for a singular Pokemon. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was not the thing I was thinking about because I just didn't understand how this thing worked. Uh, do I have one of those though? Because I'm not entirely sure that I do. Oh, a float stone. Oh, I do have a lucky egg. Give it to Pokemon. Give it to Hina because Hina needs to evolve. Only a select few knows of this power spot. The gracious stones. Curiously, no grass grows within their ring. Curiouser yet, grace gazing upon them lifts the spirits. This is apparently not where I'm going. Where on earth am I going? There. <laughs> mm. I am I am awesome at this game. I definitely know everything and I never get lost. Never. Never ever. Never ever have I gotten lost in this game. Oh, it's a cave. What? What is this cave? Cave with a present. Um, rare candy. Rare candies are good. Rare candies can be used to evolve the Pokemons. There's just presents everywhere here. I kind of feel like I shouldn't just run around collecting them because then we would be here for all eternity which is probably not what we are here for but i also kind of can't stop myself so where am i okay a bit to the south and in here okay i found it found it Found it. I hope Kieran didn't follow me because he's gonna travel a long while. <laughs> These are the Paradise Barrens. Pretty lonely place, huh? In the nook, it has a lot of treasure. According to the old legends, the ogre used to be seen around the here lots. Hey, before I check out the sign, could you battle me? Yeah, sure. Okay, let me heal up our Pokemon. Don't need to do... You don't need to do that, man, but thank you. Hmm. This time, I'll win. No, you won't. I have dragons. Yeah, when I win, I want to win. So I got this. You, you haven't gotten this. You have not gotten this. This music is kind of good. There's also something weird moving behind John Mum that I have no idea what it is. A gunk shot. I know says I feel bad for you, but I am not losing. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that is exactly what is going on right now. I feel really bad for him. I'm not gonna lose. <laughs> this fight knocked out my iron hands because I was a little loud, so I pulled my Mewtwo. <laughs> oh, that 
That's a big polyrath. I had no idea they were that big. That almost hurt. Yeah, I spit on you. <laughs> Should have thought things through. It wasn't supposed to go like this, but... Energy ball. Ow. That was also unnecessary. This little dragon is not the strongest little dragon. Lavo is point is just cheering you on. Yes. <laughs> I have my own little cheerleader over here. Oh, I could have kept Futzel going. Okay, fine. Dragon Claw. That was extremely unnecessary. If you keep... You're gonna keep this up. I'm gonna panic and send in Loki. <laughs> We are the plot when it's come to not being kind, nice to Kieran. I want to be nice to Kieran. I just don't want to hand him a free victory. He is still baby, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. He he now needs to stop being a baby. <laughs> oh, you have a Diplin too. We need to switch Pokemon to Neptune. <laughs> I respect you for having a dragon. I'm just gonna go on an outrage now though. You got this dipling, get him all covered in syrup. No, no, right. No, please don't. I'm covered in. That was extremely unnecessary. Gonna go there. Uh, for it, we're gonna switch Pokemon because Neptune is no not feeling that awesomely. Uh, let's go with Scotty. Scotty is fine. Fur noodle time. Yes, fur noodle time. It looks weird. <laughs> um, let's start with the dragon claw. Why are we tidying up? Oh, oh, I'm not sure I like that. It's probably fine though. Let's glaive rush this. Oh. This is fine. <laughs> Ooh, Hina is leveled up. That means Hina is gonna evolve. It's all because I'm too weak. Nothing is because you're too weak. You lost because you're too weak. That's mainly because I have six dragons. You only have one. I also have a tiny baby, so, you know. I'm soon gonna have a teenager, though, so it is. We're progressing. <laughs> it quickly became more viable as a supporter because of Tidy Up. I can understand that. 
We have a teenager. <laughs> Hagamu, oh, yes. Oh, is a dragon fighting? I forgot that. It fires itself up by striking its scales with force as it dances. Its roar is a battle cry. Pretty cool. I can also, by the way, hear the whole whole house just in the wind because it's very windy. Look at the sign on those scales. It is very pretty scales. Very pretty scales. Baby dragon, do 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 do. Baby dragon, do do. Do 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 do. Teeny dragon do do. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the metallic sign is cool in this game. It really is cool. I don't like how they have handled the fur with light though. But yeah. Even though it's super weak to fairy moves, it's still really strong despite it. Yeah, we we have Neptune for fairies. And we used to have Nua for fairies as well, actually. <laughs> now we don't have her. So we are weaker against fairies than we used to be. I forgot about that. <laughs> I lost. It's because I'm weak. That's why I... No, you, you can go stronger. You're cool. We should go check out the sign. Come on, let's get it this over with. I dislike how this is going. If you see a shadowy figure approaching you outside the village at twilight, be wary. Don a mask at once and hide your face. Do so and whether the shadow is a man or monster, you will pass each other by as a fellow mask wearers. If you should meet the shadow when you have no mask in hand, then pray that it is only a man. If it is, you will live to see another day and you will remember to never forget your mask again. But if it is the ogre, you will meet your end, as to all humans whose faces are seen by it. Once it sees your face, your soul will be forfeit. forfeit. And you shall never return to the village. Yeah, I call cat. Yes. In the old days, everyone carried masks wherever wherever they went, and the one who made those masks was actually my great 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 grandpa's great 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 grandpa or something. That's amazing. I mean, I don't think any of the stuff about the ogre stealing souls is true or anything, but it is true that our family used to make masks. Our family has a long line of mask makers. Even my grams can make them. I even heard that the reason we hold the festival of masks is because our ancestors came up with the idea. Pretty good. <laughs> Great to the power of ten, Grandpa. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> After the epilogue event, it is implied that there is a grain of truth to this history. Oh, okay. That's interesting. But I don't really like what they wrote on this sign here. Just because the ogre seemed sort of scary, everyone got all afraid of it and drove it away from the village. But I'm pretty sure the ogre must have been lonely on its own. I'm pretty sure it was. Left all alone like that, treated like some sort of kind of outcast. You're right. I think so too, huh, Dina? Wanna take that last photo? Yeah, I, I just... Mm. <sighs> I dislike making people sad. Even if it's in a video game. <laughs> oh, 
Look at all the uncomfy vibes. Very uncomfy vibes. Well, we're done with our assignment now. But I've got to stay stronger, with, get stronger with my Pokemon. I'm gonna head home. Uncomfy vibes. Very uncomfy vibes. Oh, it's a tiny little room. You need to see how, how big your big sister has gotten. Your big sister is, is awesome. Dragon Claw. Gee. Oh, hello, John. Welcome to stream. I do hope you've been having a wonderful day so far. I'm not really sure why this is out here. Is there something special about these rocks? There is stuff on top of them. Other than that, I cannot see anything special about them. Maybe it's pretty cool that they are random rocks that just stand in the middle of nowhere. I think that's kind of it. <laughs> well, I got a stream again. Yes, you did. You did. You did. Sadly, I'm kind of wrapping up here, though. <laughs> oh, don't mind the Shinx. We don't need to battle the Shinx because Shinx are cute and precious. And we need to be very mindful of the Shinx. Am I even going in the correct way? I think I'm going in the correct direction. Yes, Kitty, Kitty, sleepy and she's yawning and glaring at me, so I'm getting a slight hint of please go to sleep and stop dis st disturbing me, human. <laughs> mm, treasure over here. Smackdown. Apparently I didn't have Smackdown before. <laughs> Understandable kitty, yes. yes. Especially since, you know, it's 20 to 11 p.m. And apparently I need to work tomorrow. Oh, that's just a problem. I thought it... Ooh, munchlax! I don't feel like going to work tomorrow. But work brings money. And money brings games. And food. And snacks. So work is probably important. See you. And money brings work. That, yeah, that it does. <laughs> Having to work tomorrow is such an inconvenience. Yes! I can't stream when I work. And during the daytime is kind of when the internet works <laughs> at its best, so. This is the way home, right? It is the way home. See? I remember stuff. I am of school. 
off from school for a month, so I'm quite good in that department. That that sounds really nice. That sounds really, really nice. But the squires need their night. It, they do. I'm just not that happy about being more of like law and order enforcer policeman thing than a teacher because I like doing the teachy teachy stuff. I dislike running around in the classroom just telling people to sit in their places and no, if you need to sharpen your pencil for five whole minutes you're doing something wrong. <laughs> oh, they are they they the 16 year olds are in an obnoxious mood these days. The 15 year olds are pretty fun most of the time. Depending on which ones are there or not. <laughs> okay, Miss Sad, I just I don't like it when it's on the on the level of it's fine if that kid isn't there. So I did sharpen my pencils wrong. Yes, you did. <laughs> Some of these kids sharpen their pencils for 10 minutes in a 60 minute lesson. When I was speaking to the whole class and they did all they did to do needed to do was listen. They didn't need to write stuff for 20 minutes. So that means that they needed to sharpen their pencils for 10 minutes. During a 30 minute period. Like how do you manage to sharpen your pencil for a third of the time? And then you also need to go to the bathroom for five minutes. So, And then you need to speak to kids. So all they managed to do for 30 minutes was like five minutes of work. It, it, it's baffling. And it's so obnoxious to have to deal with. So obnoxious. I can deal with a lot of stuff, but that is just plain obnoxious. How did you do that? <laughs> they were practicing for a speed run. That, that, uh, yeah, that, that. Kitty, you're hurting me. Can you please let go of my hand? Th let go. Thank you. Kitty, you might be cute, but you're a menace. Yes, and just because of that, I'm gonna hug you. Yep. Kitty's being hugged. <laughs> mm -mm. Here, by place an order for five pets for Kitty. Keith. Kitty's getting a lot more ski teen screeches than five. So, yes. Please, viewer. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm going the chin squishes because that's what she likes. If I pet her that many times, she's gonna be very annoyed. <laughs> I just got back and I'm being hugged. Yes! Yes, you are. Hug. <laughs> Kitty kind of doesn't want to be here, though. But... As a professional kitty owner... I know how to stop a kitty from leaving leaving the hug. It's not that happy about it though. <laughs> okay. Yeah, cut. Cut, cut. Group hug, yes, group hug. Group hug. Mm, of course. Are you gonna try the new Pokemon game called Palward? It, it... Probably not. More than likely, no. I talked about that a bit in the start of the game. Or stream. But mainly... I'm weirded out by the similarities between it and other games. It feels more copied than inspired. Um, it's kind of more like Ark than Pokemon. That that too. 
it's not only Pokemon that they have copied. They have copied from a lot of games, but it feels more copied than inspired. And I feel slightly weird about it. Hmm. What about Temtem? It's similar to Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I've just accidentally streamed a whole lot of Pokemon. I kind of used to stream Pokemon once every week or something like that. Like once every third third stream was Pokemon. It has been a lot. At the same time, I really like Pokemon. So I'm not sad about just my channel being Pokemon. <laughs> Next stream Minecraft, maybe. Maybe, because I haven't. We haven't played Minecraft in quite a while, so we should probably get back to it. It's just kind of difficult to know what to do in Minecraft. I mean, there's a whole lot of things to do. There's no shortage of things to do, <laughs> but Minecraft is more difficult because I feel like I need a plan. Pokemon is way easier. The Nuzlocke does need more planning but this game is just boot it and go and talk and you're fine <laughs> i don't need to think minecraft i need to think i need to prepare naslogs heavy on the thinking department heavy on the planning department <laughs> but, eh? Whatever next stream will be, let's have more group hugs in it. Yes! Next stream might be on Friday, by the way, because Swedish Eurovision is starting this week. So no no Saturday streams for a while. <laughs> I think it started this week, at the very least. If it starts this week, no Saturday streams. It's slightly annoying because Saturday streams are Saturdays are one of the better days for me to stream. But yeah. We should also start with group hugs. <laughs> Maybe we should. Maybe we should. No, you are appreciated and welcome guests here. That you are. That you are. No Saturday stream? Probably not. Might if not, if no Saturday stream, it's gonna be a Friday stream instead. So, either Saturday or Friday. Either or. Not both. Niceness catches me of course the most of. No, no, no. You're awesome, no. Awesome. Ah, ah. Niceness will never stop. Because, because niceness is nice. Hmm. But, I think I'm gonna be off for today. I kind of don't want to because streaming is fun and I have missed it and I didn't realize how much I missed it, but I have missed it. <laughs> what do you think about the Has Been Hotel series, Gina? Uh, I haven't watched the newest one. I think they came up with a new one. But I really, really like it. I really like it. It's... Like, it's an adult cartoon. But it's an adult cartoon that's not over the top. It has characters. It has stories. It has adult themes. But not to the extreme. See, I, I like it. I like it. I like uh, Vivsy Pop's other cartoon as well. So, e. <laughs> you have found a rival and it's Lucifer. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, y you're in. Uh, you're in for a bit then. Mm. You will behave, but no hugs. <laughs> The hugs are voluntary. You don't need to be part of the of the group hug if you don't need to. <laughs> if you don't want to, I mean. And it's also a musical, which is um, doubly good. Because the music is really, really good. And you know, some of the songs has never left my brain. <laughs> Mm. 
i blev det. 1919, good night till of yes. The internet being good is wonderful. That it is. It was one hiccup, I think, but that was it. That is, that is very nice. Sir No can do in this stream, we love everyone who does not do anything against us, so as long as you behave, we will give you hugs. <laughs> yes. yes, yes, we will attempt to hug you, and you can say no if you don't want being hugs, but yes. We will never stop being kind to you, unless you stop being kind to us. You know. <laughs> we protect our own here. Thank you for the stream, Gina. Thank you everyone for being in chat here and I'm happy to read you again another time. Good night, everyone. Group hug. Yes. Yes. And thank you guys so much for being here with me. I do hope you had fun because I had a whole lot of fun. Kind of feel like I stayed a, a bit longer than I thought I was going to do. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for coming here. I do hope you had fun. Uh, do I have... Neo? <laughs> uh... <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you, Neil. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really didn't need to do that. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm really thankful. I'm just very confumbled. <laughs> uh, but thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. And yeah, it is very, very wonderful to be back as well. It is amazing to be back. I'm really look like I have a lot. I have a few plans, and I just hope that I have the time to pull them through. Time and energy. I'm running low on both. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for coming here. I do hope you have a lovely rest of the day, night, morning, evening, whatever time it is for you guys. Do take care of yourself and of one another. And until I see you next time, bye bye. And a hug. Yee. Kisses. Yeah.